Hello, I'm back to your regular scheduled Today's Decay program. October 12th. Can you roll the dates? Is it really right? Isn't that right, Louie? Come on, come up here. Martin Van Mile, spelled M-A-E, umlauts over the E, L-E. Born today, 1863. He was a uh, illustrator who uh, illustrated Jules, some Jules Verne novels. Um, along with a bunch of, uh, I think, outlawed French erotica. Uh, very eye-catching aesthetics. Um, Alistair Crowley, born today, 1875. Interesting character. I don't know that he's as much of the mover and shaker as history remembers him to be. I think there's... No, I meant to grab this book, but then the dog sat on me. There's this really great book called Women of the Golden Dawn that uh, I was very lucky to see um, a lecture by this lady who runs the, is it the largest or oldest occult bookstore in London that was speaking at the old observatory, which predated Morbid Anatomy Library, which... Uh, what are they called now? Morbid Anatomy. I think it's a, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, awesome group of people here in New York City who regularly book a lecture series on the strange and unusual every day being something different. I definitely saw one on this aquatic ape theory that was really interesting. Another on um, lampshades made of human Jewish skin from concentration camps. Not saying that it was true, but that was the topic of the conversation by a guy who wrote a book about it called Lampshade. It was very interesting. Uh, who else? What else? I talked there once or twice on a couple different subjects. Um, Ronnie Thomas, filmmaker extraordinaire, talked a bunch. It's a whole like conversation club of like-minded weirdos of all different types uh, and and one of those was this lady who, forgive me, I don't recall her name, ran this uh, occult bookstore in London that was all about talking about the women of the Golden Dawn that all preceded Aleister Crowley by, I won't say a generation, but let's say 15 years. And uh, while there were some men involved, uh, a lot of it were women who um, rebelled against Victorian society by embracing uh, their version of Egyptian rites and pagan rituals and, and stuff. And then here this new kid on the block shows up once they've already been doing this for X numbers of years, Alistair Crowley, who like winds up taking the spotlight and, and becoming a like big troublemaker uh, for their world and really takes it and runs with it. Uh, but he certainly shaped the world as, as he saw fit, no question about it, uh, regardless of the world he came into. In the end, it's an Alistair Crowley world that we're living in. Ain't it? Flip the Frog by Oob Iwerks. His uh, short, his cartoon Soda Squirt premiered today. I, I love Oob Iwerks. I love Flip the Frog. Uh, it's just really fun 1930s cartoons that it, it's, you know, gets me through my day. Perhaps will get you through your day. Um, Dave Banyan, born today, 1956, of the Damned and Phantom Chords fame. And as, uh, that's Nomad of the Nightmares, of course. Um, Brian Merrick, also a uh, later mid 80s uh, lineup of The Damned, born today, 1958. Yeah, and uh, The Germs LP, released today, I think in 1980. Is it 80 or 81? One or the other. Either way, what's the point? Uh, clearly, somehow. The stars aligned and created a series of people who decided to do absolutely whatever they felt was necessary and, and not adhere to any standards, just what they knew was right. Be it um, Alistair Crowley, Dave Vanian, The Germs. Uh, so yeah, I think that we can all take something from this, right? On today, the day of their births, October 12th. That's it. From us to you till tomorrow. Goodbye.